I have had to tell believers this over and over and over again, more than once, that's what I'm saying, that you come under an attack simply for having an intention to be bigger and better than everyone in your family. I have realized in scripture that people are not bound by themselves. They're not bound willingly. The Bible tells us clearly in Romans chapter 8 that creation was subject to futility. Creation was subject to futility in hope. You know, creation did not subject itself. It was subject to futility. Jesus Christ tells his disciples in one of the, the gospels, he says, go to the village against you and you will find a donkey tied, right? He says, lose it and bring it to me. He says, but if anyone asks you who gave you authority to lose the donkey, tell them the master is in need of it. Why would Jesus say if anyone asks you? Because no donkey is tied willingly. No donkey is kept on a leash willingly. You see that? So every time you seek to break out of the norms. You are trying to rebel against a protocol and you get to come under attack for just rebelling against the protocol. The Bible tells us that you do not go into a strong man's house to bind the strong, uh, to take the strong man's possession without first binding the strong man. If you give me a minute, I'm going to show you that scripture. Let me read this particular one. I've quoted more than three scriptures. But I want to, I know you should have, you know this scripture, but let me just read it again. <clears throat> now, this is Jesus himself speaking in Mark chapter 3, verse 27. Mark chapter 3 and verse 27. He says in the NIV, he says, in fact, no one can enter a strong man's house. No one. Doesn't matter your nationality. Doesn't matter your religion. Doesn't matter your, your denomination. Doesn't matter your inclination. No one. It's a spiritual law. No one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. Then he can plunder the strong man's house. You cannot just walk into a strong man's house. The first thing you have to do is win the battle over the strong man. The Lord is saying that the moment you started the desiring, to break out of your the, 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 the family norms, the, the challenge that has been in your, in your family, in your lineage. The moment you set your heart to be different from your siblings, your parents, you triggered an attack. Should you run away from it? No. You did the right thing. In every generation, someone must wake up to contend the wickedness in that generation. Yes. Someone must wake up to contend the wickedness in that generation. In every generation. There is somebody who will rise to say, what nonsense. Why should we all suffer? We all cannot be small. In the, in the generation of Jacob, we saw at one point he woke up and contended contended i will not let you go until you bless me something is wrong with this with with, with 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 what's going on it's been messed up so far but i am determined to be the change maker to be the one that brings change into my family to bring the ones that brings change into this it, it will not happen to me it will not happen to the people that come after me i'm speaking to someone that is genuinely stirred you see how did i get this prophetic word i just woke up this morning praying and I began to perceive an attack on people's financial prosperity because of the things they decide to do with their money. You want to live a reckless life, spending your money anyhow, you don't come under attack for that. But the moment you begin to make kingdom moves, you begin to play your cards all at the right places, you begin to take the right financial moves. I'm seeing some of, some of you in the realm of the spirit trying to think about mortgages, trying to get your house, trying to come out of just rent, trying to come out of being homeless. You're trying to put your life together. Listen, that will not be celebrated in the kingdom of darkness. Wow, she's trying to leave us and just go to become all that God has called her to be. 
It will come with contention. It will come with contention. And you need two things. I'll show you in the scriptures. As I'm, I, I did not have this scripture when I began to record this prophetic word. The Spirit of the Lord just dropped this scripture in my heart that Jesus was speaking to Peter. <clears throat> Let me get it for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Luke chapter 22, verse 31 to 34. There's a beautiful story there. And it is Jesus himself speaking. The Bible says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, calls him twice. He says, Behold. In other words, look. Oh my God, I just feel the weight of the glory of God as I record this prophetic word right now. He says, Behold. Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. You know how you sift wheat? To play with you, to knock you back and forth. You see, instability most times in the realm of the spirit is communicating that Satan has had you, he has had your finances. You see, when you're sieving wheat, the wheat are unstable. Sieving it. Taking out the miracle, taking out the blessing, taking out the elements of prosperity. He says, Satan desires to save you as, like wheat. Look at verse 32, and that's what you need right now. He says, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. He says, and when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. You see? That is exactly what happens when you make up your mind to start breaking family records, family limitations. Satan desires to have you. Let me have that one that is trying to rebel against the demonic covenant we had established over these people. Bring that one to me that has decided to go against the laws that were established. How dare you wake up to question the stagnation that exists in your bloodline. They are angry. They are angry. But the Lord has raised me, hallelujah, as an intercessor. The Lord has raised me as a prayer force to stand with. Oh my God, I feel the weight of the Spirit as I record this word. The Lord has raised me as a prayer force to stand with you. To resist the devil. To resist the devil. I made a prophetic word, I think, yes, uh, last night. Um, it's on our, 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 our platform here. You can check it out. And in that prophetic word, I said, the best thing that can happen to you, a believer, is to resist the devil. When you resist the devil, he has no other option. He hates it. He hates your gods. Satan hates your gods. He hates the fact that you have stood up to rebel against him. And I join my faith with yours in the name of Jesus. And I declare that the attacks that have risen up against you simply because you have dared to do what nobody has done in your family, those attacks come to nothing in the name of Jesus. Those attacks come to nothing in the name of Jesus. I decree that the strong horn of darkness that has risen against you in this season, that horn be broken by the power of God in the name of Jesus. I release you into speed and prosperity. I decree and I declare that you will break that demonic covenant that have, that have held people bound in your lineage in the name of Jesus. You are a different species. I need you to write in the comment section, I am a different species. As you declare that in the name of Jesus, I see the devil put to flight. I see the devil fleeing because of your resistance to his demonic plans. I am a, a different species. I'm a different breed. I'm an uncommon breed. Declare it, declare it, declare it in the comment section. I am an uncommon breed. I am an uncommon breed. I am an uncommon breed. As you declare that three times, I see the devil sent to flight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I feel the weight of his anointing, even as I record his prophetic word. I declare in the name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord give you massive peace in Jesus' mighty name. The shalom of God, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you in Jesus' mighty name. 
The Lord bless you. Peace.